Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Arathi Basin. So this is an awesome domination base mini game where players have to capture all of the bases to earn points for their team. So when you get this plugin, you get this map for free with it. Um, it automatically installs and you can play it straight away by doing the command for slash Arathi join and then either the blue team or the red team. Um, let me just do that like that. And it says you've been assigned to the blue team and obviously we need more players. So let's go ahead and leave. So um, if you don't want to use this map, you can create your own map and you can add bases and spawn points. But it's pretty complicated to do. There are a lot of commands, so I'm going to go through that in a minute. But overall, it's a really awesome plugin and works fantastically. So to start off uh, creating your own uh, map, you will want to do Arathi and then TP to actually get in the world. But um, for this tutorial, I'm going to do it in the opposite world. I've created two bases here and one uh, spawn point to capture. It doesn't look brilliant, but you can design it however you want. So um, first of all, we need to set up these spawns. So let's do that now. Let's just hop in here and do force slash structure, define, uh, spawn, and then red spawn. So once we've done that, we need to do two things. There's two different modules. There is the spawn module and the spawn gates module. So um, let's go ahead and do that. There is the module uh, spawn underscore gate like that. So once you've done that, grab yourself a blaze rod. And as you can see here, you need to right click the blocks um, that you want to add to the gate. So we are going to set a two by three gate here. So just right click all of these different blocks uh, to allow you to um, open the gate when the game starts. And then obviously we need to set a spawn point as well. So we do that in a similar manner, just module spawn and then right click the spawn blocks. So it's going to be this one here. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, then we need to actually set the color. So uh, structure, if I can spell it correctly, uh, color red, and then the direction you want players to spawn in. So um, we are going to go uh, direction, it's going to be south. So that is how you set up um, a spawn base. We can then do structure deselect to deselect it. And we're going to do the same for the uh, blue spawn. So let me just scroll up and we are going to define the spawn of blue spawn like this. There we go. And obviously we need to do uh, the modules again. So we need to do the spawn gate. Right click all of these blocks. Obviously if you accidentally click uh, the wrong block you can left click to remove it. And then we need to hop on this block for the spawn point. So. Uh, Spawn, we need to set the direction which is north and we need to set the color which is blue. There we go. So we have set up both uh, spawn points and we have deselected it. So that's the simple part. Creating a base is um, a bit more difficult to be honest. There are quite a few more things that you need to set. So let's go ahead and do structure, define, base and then just call it anything you want. So I'm going to just go with base one and we need to set up all the modules. So there is quite a long list of them. There is the base flag, the base glass floor, the base sky, the base glass beacon, the base map. So uh, let's get started with this. So structure and then module. Um, let's go in order. Let's start with the base flag. Uh, if I can spell it correctly, base underscore flag. And we're going to right click this here. There we go, simple as that. Uh, then we are going to set the sky um, bit. So uh, let's go up here and right click these eight blocks. Boop, boop, boop. And now we can set um, the glass floor. This bit looks really nice. So glass underscore floor. Uh, so select all of these different blocks. There we go. One, two, there. And a couple more things to do. The glass beacon, of course. Glass underscore beacon. So it's going to be this block here. And finally, the base map. So the base map is a really cool feature. Um, you do this in each spawn. So you could create a map of um, all of the spawn points. Maybe if you've got five, you would have three in the middle, one on the top, and one down below. And then it will change color when um, a particular team captures it. So um, that's how you set up um, one of these structures. So let's go ahead and do structure D select. And we can actually test whether it um, 
it works. So let's do structure color and then purple, for example. Although, uh, actually, we should probably select it again. So structure select and then one. Uh, and then if you do purple, as you can see, we now have the beacon working. All of the colors have changed to purple, except this. We obviously forgot to uh, click this block. So uh, let's go ahead and select the glass floor, right click it and repeat the command and there we go, it's worked again. So when a particular team captures a point, let's let's type red for example, you will see it says one captured and um, it changed colours and works perfectly. And then if we look in the spawn points you can see the map updates, so you can change it to any colour you want and it will work. There we go, so we're going to change it back to white if I can spell white correctly, like that. So there we go, that's how you create your own map. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, well, once you've done every single command, there is a lot of them, but it's definitely worth it. So now we're going to actually play the game and show you how it works on the other map that looks a lot better than this. So here we are, we're in the game now, and as you can see there is a nice text popping up, counting down, that says go, control the bases to win. On the right you can see a scoreboard. There's not much to it unless you double tap shift and as you can see if you do that it will tell you all of the assaults, captures, defense, uh, horde, alliances, points and KD. So that's very cool. Here we have the map I was talking about. So if I set myself to fly mode and maybe increase my speed we will be able to capture some points if I can actually get out the door. Um, so here we go, this is the first point, and the way to do it is obviously get on the points, such as in Domination and Capture the Flag, uh, and the blocks will change colour. And there we go, it says Stables Assaulted, we have captured it, and the scoreboard has changed. Let's go ahead and capture the other one, here it is. There's quite a few of these, so let me just capture a few of them, and go over to the enemy base. So, uh, come on. Nearly there, there we go. So we've assaulted the blacksmith and we got points for that. The dev recommends using um, a plugin like King Kits or something like that where players can choose um, whatever kit they want. Um, it'd be cool if he added that to the plugin, maybe in the future. And as you can see, this is the red base and the gates are no longer here. I wish I could have showed you that, but uh, I didn't get out quick enough. And if you fly in here and look at the map, you can see that I've captured all three of uh, these and they've changed color. So yeah, that is the plugin. It's really cool, uh, works really well, and um, definitely worth worth it as it is a premium plugin. In the uh, config file, there isn't too much. You can change min and max players and uh, various time until it starts. So uh, yeah, that is the plugin. I'll be back in a few days with another tutorial. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.